Hello, fellow preppers. Tis I, the Rumpel One. Why we prepare? Oh man, earthquakes in Chile, fires in a couple places here in America, flooding in America. Why we prepare? Because anything could happen. We just don't know what. I mean, it's just the devastation of what's happened over the past week since I last made a video. It's just incredible. And to me, people who don't prepare, I don't know what they're thinking, if they're thinking. I don't think they are thinking. I don't think they want to think. And they like to call us doom and gloomers. It's not about doom and gloom, it's about what's happening right here today. Why we have to prepare. Because you, you, you don't want to be caught off guard. You really don't. You want to be able to, to survive, to get through, to recover, to rebuild. But to some people, it's hard. I know people watching my videos are pretty much preaching to the choir. Had a couple prepper meetings this month, a couple of prepper events. And one thing, though, I have to say, we had in a prepper event this one city, and I asked everybody that came over, I asked them if they were prepared. I go, are you prepared? And they said, yeah, I'm getting there, or yeah, I'm starting. I was really encouraged how many people were saying that they were taking these steps. But the thing is, you might even wonder, why is that question even necessary in the first place? Why aren't we preparing? Why haven't we prepared? Why wasn't that taught to us as children? Why is it that just part of everyday life that we're prepared? Well, for some folks it is. It's just their way of life. I, I love it when somebody goes, hey, you know, I've been living this way for 50 years. I didn't, I didn't know I was a prepper. You know, that's really encouraging. But some of these other people, they just don't have a clue. They don't want to have a clue. They refuse, flat out refuse to have a clue. You know, here on the West Coast, you know, with the Pacific only five miles away, it's kind of bad for business to tell newcomers and visitors and vacationers to the area that, hey, do you realize right now you're in an earthquake zone? You're in a tsunami zone? That'd be bad for business. They might not want to come back. But wouldn't it be bad for business if we have all those people here and the earthquake happens? I mean, what are we going to do then? Are you prepared to take care of them? I mean, it's a, it's a serious consideration. I mean, last month we had a big country music festival. You know, in a town of 3,000, or no, less than that, I think in a town of 1,700, they had somewhere between 20, 25,000 people, I believe, showed up. I mean, that's like increasing the population tenfold, almost twentyfold. What would have happened if the earthquake tsunami hit during that weekend. Massive casualties, massive loss of life. All these people would be stranded. Where are they going to go? How are they going to eat? This is why you have to be prepared. Sure, a lot of them came down in campers, but the campers could be washed away. Their stuff washed away. These are considerations that you know, our city leaders, county leaders, state leaders, I don't think that they really consider it. You know, on the other hand, my Congressman DeFazio had an earthquake uh, meeting. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to it. I didn't find out about it uh, in time to, to make preparations to go. But at least they are, at some levels, they're kind of recognizing it. You know, talking about the earthquake and earthquake preparedness and, hey, we're going to do something here at the federal level. 
that'll please his constituents but we'll have to see what really happens I mean is it just government theater the appearance of getting something done while actually not getting anything done or is you know my congressman DeFazio is he really gonna do something about this you know more than just have some you know put some committee in place is it actually gonna have a group of people actually go out boots on the ground and do something I guess we'll have to wait and see but anyway that being said you know what comes next if you prepare to fail by not planning then you will <laughs> I kinda goofed that one up if you fail to plan then you're planning to fail if you fail to prepare you're preparing to fail anyway hope you got a good laugh there at the end till next time